we'll be starting with Father's Promise. Um, that's the one that apparently something about the guy and his kid last broadcast is uh, you choose what happens, what you're broadcasting, and then Fading Embers. Um, I think it's something about you play as a, a refugee team or the woman or something like that. Not exactly sure. I watched the trailer for all these. They're all pretty interesting. Um, personally, I like something more linear, but the classic mode was still cool, and I wanted to play at least one or two games before um, starting this. Plus, at one point, I do want to go back, but I don't know if I'll do that on stream. But anyways, we'll go ahead and start with uh, Father's Promise and uh, go from there. Okay, so it continues with the days. So it's a diff completely different location. Adam's family failed to flee the city in time, but they managed to get by somehow despite the siege until one day Adam's life, wife fell ill. Without the proper meds, Barbara died. After her mother's death, Amelia became slightly withdrawn and stopped speaking, then she fell ill. One night an explosion shook their tenement, but unfortunately, but fortunately they survived. Adam carried Amelia to the other wing of the building, desperate to save her. Everything's gonna be okay. I promise. Please rest now. You need to regain your strength. Place looks safe enough, but I have to make sure. I need to check all the rooms for food, meds for Amelia. We're desperate. We need them. My poor little girl. I cannot lose her too. Severely ill. Damn. Look around the house. See what I can find. I'll be close, don't worry, I'll check on you soon. You should rest now. Alright, so there is a good amount of stuff here. Hmm. Amelia and her love of drawing, even when we can't find Cran, she still finds a way. Adam, even though things have never been great between us, we're still brothers. You were too proud to come live in my house when yours was destroyed. At least be reasonable now. There have been talks of the humanitarian corridor opening soon and people with children have prioritized. Amelia is our chance for getting out of here. Don't you want to save her? This letter, my damn brother. So we already start with a uh, radio. All right, I'm just gonna scavenge the house, I guess. We'll need to to make a um, shovel at some point because it looks like there are some a good amount of piles down there. Wow, we have all of this to ourselves. At least right now we do. I don't know if this one has like. I'm pretty sure it has multiple endings again, but this is a perfect place to make a to build a makeshift bridge. It can help us reach an old apartment. Maybe something can still be salvaged after the bombing. Okay, cool. Do we start with a lockpick? Yep, we do. Perfect. Lock door. Maybe there's food on the other side or meds. Hang on, Amelia. Nope, nothing. So, oh, that's what I'm wondering though. Um, like I was saying like a minute or two ago, I'm wondering if there's 
like does this just play out as different people the entire time or um like the base game but you just play as these specific people but you, the gameplay is the exact same or like are there completely different like you'll go to this area then the next day you'll go to this area like it's more linear in a way or if it's just like new characters that you can only play as when uh playing this mode Okay, so we need a shovel. <laughs> it's an interesting way to jump up there. Actually, so do we have a workbench? Or a metal workshop, that's what we need. Okay, so we don't have enough materials for it yet. Um, we did scavenge everything we could right now, at least. I mean, we could. We'll try doing this. So that way we're not wasting, like, our first day. I don't know how long it's actually going to take, though. He's a skilled scavenger, though. So might, maybe things go faster for him taking so long without a shovel yeah well we we literally just need like three more pieces or it's like two or three more and then we'll be fine okay so we're about halfway there uh, it might stop like right um, two dials before before the time's up. I feel like my hair is very flat today. <laughs> Put stuff in it. The normal stuff that I do, but I, I think it uh it dried up too fast. Nice. Okay. So I had even more time than I was expecting. If we can get like two components, then we should be good. Nice. I think we have enough. I'm not one hundred 100% sure, but we have this doll or whatever it is for her too. All right, nice. Okay, so we can at least make this and then let me place it right, yeah, right there. So once this finishes building, we'll try to give her the toy if we have enough time. It looks like it always goes until 8 p.m. Yep, there it is. Sweet. All right, so we just need components now. New entry in Adam's bio. It looks so happy when I gave her the plushie. The smile on her face melts my heart. I wish she had more reasons to smile, but in these circumstances, dot, dot, dot. Yeah, that's understandable. Can't leave Amelia on our own. What if someone comes into our shelter? I need a protector. But it still gives you the option to give scavenge. If we don't get to sleep at all, at when does he sleep then? When was that last time there? I visited him there. I don't remember, nor do I care. 
if I never see him again, it will be too soon. I mean, we can go see him. It's the only place we can go. That doesn't look like much of an airport, but it says airport. <laughs> All right, let's let's go. Oh wait, okay. Why do you even give me the option to go anywhere then? Night was calm. All right. Uh, so shoot. We still need to get materials. Anyone please respond. My daughter is very sick. We need bandages and meds. <coughs> ah, sorry. No, that was probably pretty loud. I need to find some meds. All right, well, our only option is to start digging here because we don't have a shovel and we can't just waste the day away. I hate how there's two piles. We can't like build a bridge or anything, right? I don't think so. I, at least I didn't check. Let me go check real quick. Because if we can, then that actually would help us out. Or we can go to the other building. If not though, make makeshift bridge. Ooh, nope. Is the other wing of the house yet? Not yet. We're kind of close. I mean, if we get 25 uh, components, we'd be able to make it. Yeah. And we need, like, I think we are low on uh, other stuff, too. We gonna trade or what? Sure. Wait, do you have meds? My daughter is very sick. I need meds. Oh, you're the guy from the radio. Yes. Do you have meds? Meds are hard to come by, my friend. That's cool that you can start dialogue. I beg you, she's all I have. Alright, I'll do what I can, but I can't promise anything. I nearly got shot on my way here. Oh no. Ah, shoot. I should have tried to uh, trade with him before. I love you, my brave little girl. Alright, so this is almost broken down. And then there is some materials right here. Oh man, there's, a, there's like a dead body right here. I didn't realize that this game's actually pretty much black and white. I mean, it's very... I mean, no, nah, no, nah, there's colors. Yeah, there's colors, but it's very, like, grim, obviously. The only reason I said that is because, like, you can tell there's a lot of red right here, so they're obviously dead. Damn. So many... Oh. I always think that that's knocking in the game, but it's not. All right, this guy. Once we get this one, then we can start scavenging all this stuff down here. Yeah, dude, I know it's taking so long without a shovel, but we, we literally don't have the materials. Hopefully we won't need a, by the time we get to this stuff, we'll probably have a shovel, at least.
Alright, that's almost done. Three force there. He's gonna get in trouble again. Oh no. Oh no. How are we supposed to get stuff then? Are you kidding me? Wow, that was kind of a waste. Oh wait, he's back. Let's trade. heads Ugh. part how about a lock pick how about this fine we have a deal all right go give her some meds Bought some meds, everything will be all right now. <laughs> it will drop soon, I promise. All right, hopefully it does. What do you say? Thank goodness, finally some meds for Amelia. I pray they help. Still, I need to get more as soon as possible. Very hungry, severely ill, and on meds. Don't spit it out. I know it tastes awful, but it'll make you feel better. Kind of like The Last of Us, in a way. Let's just go to the night. Can we scavenge? Yeah. What if someone comes into our shelter stay? Dude, you're gonna have to sleep at, sleep at some point. Just close up the doors and everything. Like these doors gotta have locks on them or something. Every day he goes to the radio. My child is sick. Coffee is becoming less than Okay. Still can't really do anything. We don't even have enough for the components. We need uh, four more for that and at least one more wood. Damn, it really is boarded up. Shoot. Dude, we'd be able to make so much... Ah! So many good things in there. We don't have enough for... Oh, there's somebody at the door. Oh, it's his brother. Guarantee it's his brother. Not you again. I told you already. Hear me out, please. Grab Amelia and let's go. She's our ticket out of here. R? You mean R? Humanitarian corridor I told you about. More than luck, brother. They prioritize parents with children. It's us. Me. Adam. Okay. And. 
She's not your ticket. She's my daughter. There's no way she survived that in her current state. I have to carry her and make frequent stops. They kill us before we get anywhere. Always a pessimist. I'm sure she'll make it. Uh, and she's our only chance out of this hell. Listen to yourself. Willing to risk her life for that. I just want to get us out of here, man. Don't you want to, too? And for Amelia to be safe. If you're too scared, I can take her myself. Listen to me very carefully. You'll touch her and I'll kill you. I don't want to see you here again. Honestly, if you're not making moves, you're standing still and we're standing still. Fuller brother can get himself killed if he wants to, but I won't risk it. You know, this life by carrying her through the middle of the war zone will find the corridor when the worst fighting is over. Where's it going? How am I going to get him? Get her something to eat. There's literally nothing here. We can't even make anything either. If I could make a... If I can make the bridge or a shovel, we'd be fine. Let's let's try to prioritize the bridge. Well, yeah, actually, I need to break, make the bridge because the shovel is no use at this point. <laughs> I just realized that. So the bridge is 25 and 15. I don't know whether I should just sit down or not. There's nothing else we can do. Ever sit with her? Found you some crayons. Some crayons. It's not going good for get Adam right now. Hi, Dad. Hello, son. <laughs> what is good, my duty? Um, Emac, since you're here, I might as well ask. Um, uh, real quick, are you? I'm assuming you're going to the Overwatch thing tomorrow instead of the auto show. What's this game? It is called This War of Mine. It's made by the same developers as uh, Frostpunk. So it's basically like a side scroller in a way. I'm doing the DLC, so it's kind of like more of a linear um, story, but the whole thing is survival. You have the days in the top left corner are things. Um, you can craft stuff and like weapons and stuff. And then each night, typically in the classic mode, you choose who will go out and scavenge. Um, but since I'm playing one of the DLC stories and he has a sick daughter, um, we can't really do anything. But it's basically like this, the setting is during, uh, it's, I think it's similar to like the Cold War, but it's not the Cold War. And you just play as the civilians while war is going on in the background, trying to survive. So like, this is the nighttime and typically you'd be able to like go out and scavenge so you can break into places you can try to go trade you can try to like uh go places pick up items and then you go back but since i'm playing the dlc he has a sick daughter it's not letting me go scavenge anywhere because it's just him so i have to stay the night so now we're on day four and that gives you a day log Days of watching over Amelia without rest have been taking toll. Adam passed out from exhaustion. When he regained consciousness, he realized that the bed was empty. Amelia is nowhere to be found. What? Uh-oh. You horrible person. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Did 
dude, his brother. His brother came the day before. I bet you his brother came while he pissed, while he passed out, and stole the kid, because he wants to take her to the humanitarian border, or whatever. He's very hungry. He's depressed, and he's tired. Same. I think we can get it both, by the way. Okay. Cool. Yeah, if you're down. Um, I mean, we'll probably have to meet there then. Uh, unless if you're, like, gonna go all the way back. And then go again. But it's up to, up to you. Whatever you want to do. Um. Ugh. I want to do an update. All right. So we got to investigate. Wait, did he investigate this? Wait, we're running out of time. Oh, crap. Might drag Pat to it, too, since I'm driving. <laughs> nice. Um, I mean, I would like to. I don't know. I need to talk to, to Rachel because, I, I mean, we could do both, too. But the only thing holding us back is we have to go to, like, her her aunt's like parents thing or her aunt's party or something like that and we need to go for at least like an hour so I'm trying to figure out um, I mean I would like to get that would be sick going to both honestly I don't know I don't know it's too hard it's just, just too difficult. Look for Amelia. All right, well, we're obviously gonna go to his house first and bring uh, the lock pick. I'm here to give you bad ideas. <laughs> Don't go. It looks abandoned, but I'd rather check th thoroughly. Amelia could still be here. Anyone home, brother? Nothing but useless trash. It's a pretty small house. It looks a little bit more cozy though. Oh, you might drag him. Oh, I thought you meant just to. Okay, so you're gonna just like drive there to go to the the car show and then go to overwatch after I'll talk to I'll talk to Rachel when she gets done work today and I'll text you we're definitely going to the car show at least but the thing is we can do one or the other and tomorrow is like the last day for the car show until next year or well, Monday is, but tomorrow's the last day I could go. If we went last week, then that would have been fine. But I don't know. I don't know. I'll talk to her. See if we can uh, try to plan something out. Especially if Pat's going to. I was going to say we should invite Pat anyways, but you're already on top of that. I wasn't sure if he was working or not, but since it's Sunday, oh yeah, well he said that he's usually off on Sundays. True, true. Um, okay. He's planning to escape with her via the humanitarian corridor. He'll be, he'll visit his pharmacy and take what he can before going to the rally point. I must catch them at the pharmacy. All right, well, before we do that, we got to have him eat something because he's like dying right now. Also, a crowbar is probably pretty useful. Uh, yeah. Uh, wait, the bridge. What about the bridge? How close are we to the bridge? Uh, 
I mean, now we can scavenge, so I'll take the material, this stuff first. Because I want to be able to open doors. So I'm thinking we're going to meet up with you at the auto show around one. Okay. Hmm. One sec. I'm just going to text her. Just so we're not there too long or having nothing to do between, you know? Yeah, I gotcha. That's, um, I just texted Rachel. So, I'm gonna see if we can do go there at one. Or, what time does the Overwatch thing start? Is it four? I think four, okay. That's what I thought. Thought. I don't know if we can open this with a, yeah, we can with a crowbar, right? Yeah, we can't, okay. Let's have him rest if we can. All right, good. Rest up so then we can go out. Here we go. We gotta go to the pharmacy. Go here. We'll take the crowbar and look for Amelia. I'm gonna see if we can go there at like one or two. Cause we, their like party thing starts at like one or whatever. So if we can go to that at like one and then just leave there go to the auto show for like an I don't need to be there all day but like for an hour or two and then go to the event that would work I think I think I don't know I'm gonna try to to clear it with her though coming for you Amelia that would work out so well yeah I, I'm also gonna ask her how much of a priority it is to actually go because like we've never I don't think we ever gone, so I don't know what's what's special about this one, honestly. It's Amelia's toy shoes here. I need to follow the trail. What happened? What? This is his brother? My brother's body it looks like he was stabbed to death. No signs of Mia. Did someone take her? Oh god. Footsteps lead to upstairs. Wherever it was, they must have turned towards the back alley door. So this way. Door is unlocked and there's blood on the door handle. I need to check the back alley. Text me when you know. Have a good stream, bro. Alright, sounds good. Appreciate you stopping by. Have a good one, homie. I'll talk to you. To the school and gas station. I need to go there. Okay. Day six. Oh boy. A papa. Ugh. I need to I just need to close that out. Hold on. Otherwise, it's gonna keep doing that every like once in a while. 
when I move the mouse all the way to the right, it tries going to my other computer. And then, uh, yeah, it doesn't. It closes out my game. Uh, trail leads to either the gas station or school. Well, where should I go first? It must be my only chance. I found my brother's body in the pharmacy. I never thought I would, uh, his death would shake me so much. Amelia was, wasn't with him. Who could have taken her? Yeah, right. Oof. It's a sticky situation. Actually, you know what? Can we make that? We can't. Alright. Gonna say, I don't know if it's worth making the shovel at this point, but we're still gonna have some stuff we'll need to shovel once we can get to that side. I don't know why it wants me to break open this door when uh, I literally have... Um, it's already open. I mean... Alright, let's have him rest. It's either gas station or there. Gas station has already been looted, but the trail led to either school or there. Maybe Amelia's captor is trying to leave the city that way. Can I still catch up with them? Well, which one's more important important for our survival some materials lots of materials but there's like no food some food some materials lots of parts let's do the gas station because there's some food and some materials take the crowbar Uh, parts, oh, well, components, wood, and, uh, food is our priority here. If I have room for this stuff, I might as well take it for now. I can always swap it out when I get to more items. Ah, damn, we should have brought the shovel. Oh well, we, we had no way of knowing. Okay, good. Hello, sir. Hey, I've got something you'll like. Looking for my daughter, her tiny tween blonde. Have you seen her? Certainly haven't seen her. Are you sure? I thought someone had brought her here. I'm sure I've seen her. We could trade. I have some really good stuff. All right, maybe. Let me uh, scavenge before trading. All right, I'll take the food and bandage. And then let's see, coffee. How about all this stuff? And then some weapons components. And this. Alright, how about just one? <laughs> no thanks. Alright, fine. What? Really? Just for that? Alright, fine. Crab ball. There was something on the roof too. I'm going to try to check that. Uh, let's drop the shells.
Nice. Alright. We should be good to run to the exit. Day seven. All right, real quick, um, before this day officially starts. I'm starting, we need food. All right, so we just got some food. Um, I'm gonna run to the bathroom and stuff, so I will be right back. All right, I'm back. And uh, let's see here. All right, so we have food that we can make. He's starving. It's a good thing we have this food. Still starving. All right, that's good. Nice, we can build the bridge. And then we can at least get over to the other location and see if there's any food there. We'll get a good amount of materials too. Who's at the door? It's a traitor. If he has food, then I'll trade whatever he needs. and the bee. Uh, oh, wait, you know what? I'm going to keep that fertilizer because we'll need it for when, uh, Was he a coffee drinker? He was. Oh well. The fertilizer we'll, we'll use to get food once we get over to this location. In the basement. Have him eat one more time. Not filling, but it's food. Not starving anymore, at least. Moving a lot faster now, too.
Here we are. Almost there. Almost there. Home shelled home. <laughs> what an achievement. Is this actually their room? Let's get into that basement before we go down. Go up here. Actually, use that. Put the fertilizer in there. Uh, what good will it do? It'll uh, give you food, my guy. And so we got an hour and 40 minutes left in this area. Partially burned Adam's diary. Heard Barbara today, it was the two of us now. Kept her hoodie and Amelia wears it. She believes it protects her from harm. God. Hmm. So this is their house. Nice, we got a saw blade. Actually, let's unboard this door. Let's go to the shelled school. Take the crowbar. I mean, we could bring actually a crowbar and the other one. Uh oh, is there a clue? Lots of mud, fresh push, push, blah, blah, blah. foot plant, ah, foot prints. typically where all the, the homeless people are at so they're probably in the same area as usual somebody's reading see my daughter no but the others they might know something usually a guy like sleeping down here oh wait pile papers we need to flee the city somehow I've learned a couple of uh, to use it we need to get seriously wounded or have small children Ooh. That's a clue. <laughs> Don't make any sense. Alright, dude. Do you know? Oh, yeah, I've seen her. Oh, God, really? Please. You help me first, then I'll help you. If you bring me some food, I'll tell you what I know. But you tell me now, and I don't kick the shit out of you. 
I'll tell you anything if you hurt me and if you kill me, you'll never find your daughter. I want to save her, bring her food. I'll wait here. Give me a sec. We need three. Oh my god. What if there's someone here? None. Into the pharmacy, my daughter was there. Where are we? We've been none of your business now. What? It's very ill. If you know something, you must tell me. You've got hearing problems? I said, fuck off. What? I mean, I'll steal from them if I gotta. But then I'm afraid the guy won't tell me anything. If I do. Hey, do you know anything? about you oh my gosh I'm gonna try to be good and see if we can find this I don't know if we're better off just taking everything we have, or... Okay. Right, do you need to go down here? Come on. So we need to find three food. Where am I going to find that? Dude, I have no idea. I mean, we can use, like, the map. But I don't know how long it's going to take. Alright, let's just run to the exit. There, there's nowhere else we can go without a, uh, a shovel. So we gotta find three foods somewhere. At least one location. I don't know how much time we have either. Which kind of makes it a little bit more difficult. Nice, we got raided. Awesome. Alright, well they only stole like water and electrical parts. So that's not too bad. Um, now nah, we don't want to make that. Oh right, dude. Oh shoot. What up? Oh no, back, back. Yes, 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 yes. Yo, clutch. I'm so glad that I picked that up. That I thought about the fertilizer. And I'm surprised that there is some that, that actually dropped in there. Bro, we don't have time for that. Okay, so we have, how many do we have? Like, and what he wants, finding is the only thing that matters. Okay, sweet. Uh, so let's break through here. If there's like two of them in the next room, then we'll be good. Is it a survival game? Yeah, it is. What's up, Kilgan? Um, I'm also playing the stories right now. So, well, this is one of the stories. So 
um, this has a little bit of a backstory to it, or more of a backstory. But typically, uh, the classic mode, it gives you like three characters, and then you just have to like try to survive. So some people will be hungry, some people will be sad. You gotta try to make it all the way until the end of the war. Similar to like, you know how like XCOM is? You gotta, um, there's the long war and stuff, but this is more survival. You pick and choose who you feed, you pick and choose who rests, uh, who, who's gonna guard the place, who's gonna go out and scavenge, or if you're just gonna stay in all night. Um, normally, the goal is to get all the way to the end of the war, but since this is a, uh, one of the story DLCs, our goal is to uh, find his daughter, who is sick. And I believe there's multiple endings as well. Actually, let's go down here. Break this up. Right now, I need to find three pieces of food in order to take back to this guy. There's a homeless guy that supposedly saw Amelia, his daughter, but he won't tell us unless if we give him three pieces of food. So that's the plan. This is our house, so you can build it how you want. Um, try to survive. And then uh, you can make materials and stuff, weapons. There's morals, there's choices. People, different characters react differently to different scenarios. It's a very cool game. In my opinion. And there's three uh, story DLCs. So this is just the first one. I should be able to finish it today and then at least start the uh, the next one. I don't know why if you... Why does he want to break that open? Unless if this is not a door. Wait, this might not be a door. Sounds interesting. Yeah, it is. It's pretty cool. Wow, this entire time it wasn't even a door. <gasps> yes, I have some food. All right, let's end our day. Ah, oh, shoot. I should have put him to sleep. Damn it. Stupid. All right, bring the three pieces of food. And we'll actually bring the shovel too. So this is the night where we're scavenging. Like, usually you can choose... Like right here, if you have like five, four or five people, you can choose like one. Okay, they'll be guarding. The next person will sleep. Um, and then you choose one to go out. And then the numbers that they have, um, that's how much storage. So like, then you can choose, okay, you can go to the pharmacy. New places open up the longer you're playing. So there's a lot of uh, options and different paths you can take. It's cool though. It's it's like two dollars. Um on Steam it's like you can get the the full thing for I think eight dollars, but on Humble Bundle they have uh the base game, it's like two dollars. Uh the little kid DLC is I think um I'm pretty sure it's like 99 cents and then the three story DLCs are like another two or three dollars. Oh, hello. Yes, I brought you the food. Here's your food, you greedy bastard. All right, so he said the uh, the hospital. All right, I'm gonna scavenge this area where the uh, the piles of rubble are, and then afterwards we'll go back to the house, make sure he sleeps during the day, and then uh, we'll send him to the hospital that night. It'd be cool if you can choose whether you like to go back or just like 
stay out scavenging. So you can run into soldiers then? Yeah, you can run into soldiers. You can run into... Uh, uh, there's a, a ton of random events. So like each day, like our house might be getting raided right now. But we won't know until we get back. Um, there's bandits that you can run into. There's like regular people. You can choose whether to steal from people or whether you just want to uh, try to trade. Some people are more willing to trade than others. Um, some places are more hostile than others. So there's there's people you can run into. Usually it's like every two or three days a trader will come to your door too, looking to trade some items. So you can uh, try to bargain with them with the items that you have. When you're at the house when you're at the shelter it's kind of like a sims game but like you have full control on like who eats who doesn't who sleeps like who does what um but then when you're out and about it's more of like a stealth uh stealth survival game because you're trying to grab whatever materials you need to take back to your house Right now, I mean, this guy actually has a lot of storage space compared to a regular person. Normally, they only have about 12 spaces, and it, it fills up really fast. So, he has 15, so I'm actually able to carry a good amount. The wood takes up the most space because it takes two blocks. Two uh, pieces of wood takes up an entire block. So that, that adds up real quick. If you're needing wood, you need to make like two, one or two runs, depending on how much. Yeah. Yeah, the scavenging is definitely worth it. It's pretty cool though. It's like a little like indie game that I've, I've really been wanting to play for a while now. And I'm glad I finally got around to it. My, uh... My first playthrough of the classic mode, I had three people and they only made it to day 17. If they become depressed, if you don't try to like cheer them up, then the next day they'll become broken. And then when they're broken, they don't move at all. So I had two people that were completely broken and I couldn't do anything. Stuff is randomized. Yeah. Yep. Um, there's kind of like clues and stuff like this radio it tells you like um, how likely it is for you to be like robbed that night and stuff but uh, we are not doing good all right I actually I need this food he's starving right now But yeah, there's there's multiple characters you can do. So there's preset like scenarios where you can start up like they have like I think there's six or seven preset. You choose this three starting characters. So like it'll be one uh, starting group will be like Marco, this guy Pavle and like another like a girl or you can choose one of the other preset or if you want to make your own, you can make your own one too. So, there's a lot of options, really. Actually, shoot. Let me uh, drop this in. I'll put one in here. Oh, wait. So, I didn't even bother. Somebody's at the door. Okay, so yeah, it's a traitor. So I'll go chat with him in a minute he's starving right now so he's moving extremely slow I'm actually gonna have him go eat instead he's starving and exhausted shoot <laughs> I gotta have him sleep too I 
I didn't realize I went around breaking all these things yesterday, but I didn't pick up any of the items. Alright, so we're eating some raw food. And then we have some vegetables. I hope this will take me out of starving. Alright, good. So now we can move at regulars. Should be able to move at regular speed. Let's see what he can trade. And then after we trade, we gotta have him rest for the rest of the day. Yeah, it's probably exhaustion. Normally, you don't have to feed. So, like, in a regular game, I typically wouldn't feed them until they are very hungry. When they are very hungry, you can make, like, a good meal, and then it will put them back down to hungry. But right now, since, like, we're really, really low on food, I can't really do that. Um, but it would be nice to. Let's see. Maybe some parts too. Two parts. Um, meds. I mean, he's fine right now. Alright, let's go have him rest. Yeah, that, that has to be it. I'm gonna have him rest. And then if I can, um, if there's still time left, well, actually I'll just end the day. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. The traders, they're, they're always trying to get you, 